Hello everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about finding interest rate and time in compound interest. Our objective, solve problems involving rate of interest and time in compound interest. To find the number of periods denoted as letter N for compound interest, okay, we are using this formula, the F is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to N. So in this formula, para makuha natin yung N, so, express na natin yung sagot natin into logarithms para makuha natin yung n. And that is logarithm of f over p is equal to n times logarithm of 1 plus i. Or pwede rin na dumiretso na kayo sa formula na to class. Okay, pwede nang hindi nyo daanan itong tatlo, pwede na kayong dumiretso dito sa formula na to. n is equal to logarithm of f over p over log of 1 plus i. So, dapat malinaw lang sa inyo na malinaw sa inyo yung value ng future value, present value, and then the value of your i. For example, how long will uh, how long will it take 3,000 pesos to accumulate to 3,500 pesos in a bank savings account at 0.25% compounded monthly? So, again, kailangan Klaro at malinaw sa inyo yung mga given values na makukuha natin. So, yung present value natin dito is 3,000 and then the future value is 3,500 and yung uh, interest natin dito, interest rate is 0.25% so kailan natin i-convert yan into decimal kaya 0.0025 and then yung M natin is 12, bakit? Compounded monthly, so yung monthly that is 12 and then yung i natin is r over m, so we're in 0 0.0025 over 12. So, ang una natin kunin is yung value ng n. So, so, solve for n, okay, so substitute lang natin sa formula na binigay kanina, so in the previous slide. So, the future value is equal to the present value plus 1 plus i raised to n. So, that is 3,500 is equal to 3,000 times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.0025 over 12 raised to n. And then divide both sides by 3,000. So the answer is 3,500 over 3,000 is equal to the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.0025 over 12 raised to n. And then dyan, lagyan na natin ng logarithm. And then para makuha natin yung n, so using the properties of logarithm, diba, ilipat natin yung exponent dito sa unahan. And that is n or logarithm of 3,500 over 3,000 is equal to n times logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.0025 over 12. And divide both sides by log 1 plus 0 0.0025 over 12. So, magiging ganyan. So, using our calculator, pwede tayo gumamit. Okay, gamit yung calculator natin. So, Ilagay lang natin lahat ng to sa scientific calculator nyo. So, ang una nyo gagawin, hanapin nyo yung logarithm dyan. So, sa calculator nito, nandito yung logarithm. So, kailangan, yan, ito po, yung naka-yellow. So, kailangan ko pindutin tong shift, tapos yung negative sign para lumabas yung logarithm. Okay, and then, uh, but before that pala, but before that, kailangan muna natin i-click yung fraction bar natin. Okay, fraction bar, then, lagay natin yung logarithm natin. And then, another fraction bar. So, that is 3,500 over 3,000. Then, close parenthesis. So, nandito. Then, sa baba naman. So, pindot ulit natin yung logarithm. Okay, shift. Tapos yung negative sign, logarithm of 1 plus, okay, another fraction bar. So, 0 0 0.0025 okay over 12 then close parenthesis okay close parenthesis so ito oh, then pindutin nyo lang yung equal sign so the answer is 740.00 so therefore yung n natin dito is 740 and then, para makuha natin yung T, kasi ang hinahanap sa problem is yung number of years. So, kailangan natin kunin yung T gamit yung N. So, di ba yung para makuha natin yung N, that is M times T. So, now, that is N. 
And T is equal to N over M. So, substitute lang natin yung N natin. That is 740 over 12. Kasi yung M, di ba natin dito is 12. So, using your calculator. So, nandito na tayo sa sagot na to. So, proceed tayo sa division. So, divide 12. So, the answer is 61.67. Okay. So, the answer is 61.67 years. Okay. So, mas convenient dito na kailangan gumamit tayo ng scientific calculator. Okay, for example, number 2, how long will it take 1,000 pesos to earn 3,000 pesos if the interest is 12% compounded semi-annually? So, ano yung mga given natin? So, yung present value natin is 1,000, tapos kumita na daw yung 1,300 pesos. So, that is the compounded interest. Tama? So, ano ngayon yung future value niya? That is 1,300 pesos. And then, yung R natin is 0 0.12 because 12% converted na sa decimal. So, that is 0 0.12. And then, uh, next is yung M natin is equal to 2. Bakit? Because of semi-annually. So, M is equal to 2. And then, yung I natin, that is R over M. So, 0 0.12 divide 2, the answer is 0 0.06. Kanina, hindi, ko na, hindi natin sinagutan. Ito na lang yung nilagay natin. Kasi class, pag kinuha natin yung value nun, masyadong mahaba yung decimal. So, ito, itong kunin na natin. Pwede natin makuha. Okay, next is sold for N. So, sabi ko kanina, pwede kayong mag-direct dun sa last na formula. Okay, so that is N is equal to log. F over P over log 1 plus I. So, ang gagawin lang natin, substitute lang natin yung mga given values. So, that is logarithm of 1,300 over 1,000 over logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.06. So, gamit yung calculator nyo. So, pwede natin gamitin. And that is, and that is what? So, fraction bar muna. And then, hanapin yung logarithm dyan sa calculator nyo. So, that is, and then fraction bar, 1,300 over 1,000, and then close parenthesis, and then sa baba, logarithm again, logarithm 1 plus 0 0.06, okay, then close parenthesis, then equals, so, the answer is 4.5026. So, so, the answer is 4.503. So, uh, si, ano na natin? I-round off na natin yung pangatlong decimal. Do. That is 4.503. So, sabi ko kanina, once na nakuha natin yung value ng N, pwede na natin i-divide sa value ng M. Okay, pag dinivide natin sa M, so, ang M natin dito is 2. The answer is 2.25. So, tingnan natin. Oh. Then, so, yung value ng N, divide by M, 4.503, divide 2, the answer is 2.25 years. Okay. So, sa calculator, pwede nyo nang i-direct yan. Once na nakuha nyo yung value ng N, divide nyo agad sa value ng M. Kapag ang hinahanap natin ay uh, time or the number of years. Paano naman kapag ang hinahanap dito ay yung interest rate per conversion period? So, anong gagamitin natin formula? So, gagamitin natin to for mina na to, the quantity of F over P raised to 1 over N raised to uh, minus 1. So, to find R, so para makuha natin yung R natin, that is I times M or the nominal rate, that is I times M. Okay, for example, number 3, at what nominal rate compounded semi-annually will 10,000 accumulate to 15,000 pesos in 10 years? So, importante na ma-identify natin na malinaw at maayos yung given natin. So, that is 10,000 ay yung present value natin. And then, yung future value natin dito is 15,000. T is 10 years. And M is 2. Bakit 2? That is compounded semi-annually. And then, N. So, kukunin natin dito yung value ng N natin. That is M times T. So, 10 times 2 or 2 times 10. That is 20. So, gamit yung formula, we can solve now the value of i. So, f over p raised to 1 over n minus 1. So, substitute lang natin yung mga values natin, yung given values natin. 
So that is 15,000 over 10,000 raised to 1 over 20 minus 1. So using the calculator. So using the calculator. So lagay natin open parenthesis muna and then fraction var. 15,000 over 10,000. Okay. Then close parenthesis. Then pindutin nyo itong pang-exponent natin. So that is 1. Okay, over 20. Okay, pwede palang ilagay nyo dito fraction bar. 1 over 20. Okay, and then down, minus 1. So, the answer is? Okay, 0 0.0205. Okay, 0 0.0205. Okay, then after nyan, kung kanina class, sa so pagkuha natin ng time, Ang ginagawa natin, once na nakuha yung n, dinidivide natin sa value ng m. Dito naman, once na nakuha natin yung value ng i, imumultiply natin sa value ng m natin. So, that is i times m. So, the answer is 0 0.041. Or, since kailangan natin to i-convert into percent, that is 4.1%. Okay, dito, pwede na natin i-times to sa m natin. Ang m natin is 2. And then, times 100, para naka-percent na siya. So, the answer is 4.09. So, kinuha lang natin yung first decimal dito. Kaya, 4.1%. Okay? Another example. At what interest rate compounded quarterly will money double itself in 10 years? So, wala tayong given na present value. Yung future value naman natin dito is 2P dahil sabi niya double itself, no? After 10 years. So, yung T is equal to 10. So, yung M natin is 4 dahil compounded quarterly. And yung N natin, 4 times 10, that is 40. So, solve for I using the formula na binigay ko kanina. So, substitute lang natin. Yung given ng future value natin is 2p and divide p so 2p divide p over uh, raised to 1 over 40 since yung n natin is 40 minus 1. 2p divide p the answer is 2 na lang tama? magiging 2 na lang to so using our uh, calculator so open parenthesis 2 then close parenthesis then yung exponent natin fraction bar that is 1 over 40 and then Minus 1. Okay, minus 1. So, the answer is okay, 0 0.17. So, the answer is 0 0.175. Okay, so sabi ko kanina, pag nakuha na yung i, anong gagawin? Imumultiply na sa uh, value ng m natin. Multiply na agad sa value ng m. So, the answer is, so multiply natin, times 4 equals, and then times ano agad? Times 100 para naka... Ibig sabihin into percent na siya. So, the answer is 6.99 or or that is 0 0.070. The answer is 7%. So, pwede natin to Kasi 6.99 na rin naman siya. So, i-round off na natin. So, that is 7.0 or 7%. Okay? 7% na lang yan. Okay. Okay. I'll give you 5 questions. So, Get ready your pen and paper. So, pwede nyo i-post yung video lesson na to bago nyo i-play ulit para malaman yung tamang sagot. Okay, for question number 1, find the unknown. Uh, the future value is 2,000. Present value is 1,750. M is equal to 2. T is equal to 4 years. Sold for I. Okay. So, ano yung value ng I? A, 1.68%. B, 3.5%, letter C, 0.16%, letter D, 4.92%. Okay, so the answer is letter A, 1.68%. Next, find the unknown. So, karugtong to ng question number 1. Ang hinahanap naman dito yung R. Letter A, 1.32%. B, 2.68%. Letter C, 3.37% and letter D, 0.132%. Okay, so the answer is 3.37%. Next, for question number 3, what is the nominal rate of interest if 4,000 accumulate 10,000 pesos 
in 8 years with interest compounded quarterly. Letter A, 0.1162%. Letter B, 4.33%. Letter C, 8.96%. And letter D, 11.62%. Okay, so the answer is letter D, 11.62%. Question number 4. In how many years will it take 18,000 accumulate to 20,000 when deposited in a savings account that earns 0.250% compounded monthly? Letter A, 35 years. B, 40 years. C, 42 years and 2 months. Letter D, 44 years and 6 months. Yes, the answer is letter C. Next, how long will a uh, principal double when invested at 10% compounded semi-annually? A, 3 years. B, 5 years. C, 7 years. D, 7 years and 6 months. Okay, so the answer is letter D, 7 years and 6 months. Eh, congratulations. If you get five okay so you can uh you may share your score in our comment section para malaman namin kung talaga natuto kayo sa video lesson na to thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial this is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.